previous video, I had promised that I wouldn't uh, make any more videos uh, concerning fatty acid vesicles. However, these are not vesicles made from fatty acids. These are lecithin vesicles. Uh, I took some li liquid lecithin and added it to water, and uh, I stained it with methylene blue, and this is what resulted under the microscope. These are magnified a thousand times. And um, I was hoping to capture a spontaneous division of uh, one of the vesicles. Um, unfortunately, most of what I've captured here is, um, well, as I would call it vesicle assimilation, where one vesicle swallows the other and uh, becomes larger as a result. Um, I would imagine that this is how these vesicles grew uh, large enough, and then um, once they got so large, they just simply um, divided by um, mechanical processes, caused them to divide. Uh, so, well, that's what we're seeing here, is the one vesicle um, swallowing the other one, basically, and becoming assimilated. The, the uh, one vesicle becomes assimilated after being swallowed up by the other one. And here again, we have another case of uh, vesicle assimilation. The um, one on the right, uh, the larger one, is uh, swallowing up the smaller vesicle on the left. And here we have two vesicles of equal size. Uh, the one on the right uh, might possibly be slightly larger, and it does uh, is proceeding to swallow the one on the left. And lastly, what we have here is the only instance I was able to capture of a vesicular uh, spontaneous division where the uh, vesicle on the left is pinching off uh, and creating a smaller one on the right. And so imagine, if you will, a scenario on the prebiotic earth where these vesicles, these liposomes, have captured strands of RNA. And as the vesicle divides, the strands of RNA would be divided among the two vesicles. Uh, one half of the RNA would go to one vesicle, the other half would go to the other vesicle. And um, so that's uh, possibly how the first cells evolved from, uh, from chemicals. Chemical evolution, they call it. And so anyway, I just want to thank all of my subscribers and others for supporting this channel. And uh, stay tuned for my uh, peptide synthesis experiment using carbonyl sulfide. Stay tuned.